Hey, good morning. It's uh, Monday, July 6th. Thanks so much for being here. The thought for today is relationships. Life is about relationships. Specifically, your life is about relationships. Everything we do that gives us satisfaction and peace is ultimately tied to relationship in some way. Our strife, our hurt, our agonies, the things that are difficult for us, the pain that we endure so much is connected to relationship in some way or another. Now here's another component of relationship that is very easy for us to miss. All relationships, all of them, are rooted and structured in law. Now that sounds counterintuitive, but every relationship functions with laws. The question is, who is the lawgiver? If, if I'm the lawgiver, if you are the lawgiver, we're in trouble because we're flawed and the laws that we give are flawed and the rules that we make up are flawed. When you're in a relationship, it only works if you and the other person have a mutual agreement about what law you're gonna follow. I'm not talking about right now necessarily scripture, I'm just talking about the way you exist. You decide you get, you get into a relationship with another flawed human being and you decide how much you're going to put up with from that person and relationship for what you're going to get from that person. That's a human idea of relationships. And then we make our own little rules to go along with it, or major rules. And we're dominated by those things because relationships cannot survive without substructure, without law. Jordan Peterson is enormously popular, and he's written this book, it's called 12 Rules for Life, An Antidote to Chaos. He's acknowledging, he's not, he acknowledges a Judeo-Christian uh, tradition, but he's not really coming from that place. But he acknowledges we need rules to make things work. Where do you get, in, if you have a romantic relationship, where do the fights come from? The other person isn't doing what you think they should do. Maybe they were unfair to you in your mind. Everything is about relationships. But why is my rule better than your rule? You see, what, what I'm saying, of course, is better because I thought of it. It's what meets my needs best. But to the person on the other end, they can feel like you're imposing your rules upon them and then it becomes a matter of compromise. How much will I give up? How much of my own desires will I give up so that I can satisfy the other person? That's law, that's rules. See, God is the one who understands relationships. He has always existed in relationships with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They have always been in relationship. He wrote the book on relationships. We call it the Bible. What we forget about the Bible and about the God's rules and God's law is that it is founded on the character of Jesus Christ for us and we receive grace and mercy. Every other relationship, the mercy is always limited. It's always has, it runs afoul. We get in trouble and we don't see grace. So that's the next component. Every relationship is based upon rules, but then those rules have to be based upon their order, obviously, but then that, then that, if we don't have grace, it totally falls apart. I have no hope at all. See, the psalmist can say, open my eyes that I may see wonderful things in your law. When we understand God's law is beautiful, that it is based upon grace and not perfection, and that I am secure in God because of grace, then his rules become a thing of beauty to me. 
not a thing of acceptance. In all of our other human relationships, the rules become matters of acceptance. And that's where chaos and hurt comes from. So think about that. You know, we'll keep talking about it. We talk about it all the time. But just remember, we have relationships. <laughs> they cannot exist without rules. And if those rules are not founded upon grace, we, we have a really, really difficult life. And we have tyranny. So we have to look to grace as the basis of all relationships. Think about that today. Thanks so much for being here. Bye-bye.